Transformation into Oneness Through Acceptance We want you to know that this month's energies are to support a complete transformation of the consciousness of everyone there on planet Earth who are ready to undergo such a change. Those who are not ready will still have the energies in their field for when they are ready. We are talking about a profound transformation, a radical difference in the way that you all look at yourselves, each other, and the world outside of you. These are the energies that are already upon you, and that are shifting you into the next level of consciousness that you are ready to take on at this time. You are ready to embody more of your source energy selves, and we can feel that. And so can all the other beings here in the higher realms. We have all sought to get you to allow in more of your true selves since the very beginning. We feel that you have explored enough of everything else to now get you to the point where you are ready to be more of your whole selves. You have moments in your lives that are transformative, and many of you speak about them from time to time. However, the experiences that transform you the most deeply have nothing to do with what is going on out there in the physical realm. You are all ready to experience more of the light and the love, the consciousness of Source. You are ready for that experience if you are receiving this message. As we said, others will wait until they are ready. They have their own timing, and their guides will help determine what that perfect timing is. However, those of you who are a part of the Awakened Collective do have the capacity to change in a heartbeat, and we have sensed the readiness within you to do that. Therefore, you can expect your transformation to occur in a moment or overnight. You can expect to feel yourself completely aligned with Source, and to never let that feeling go again. You are awake enough to do this. You are ready for it. And now is the time. This is the month where enough energies will be coming together to bring about this in a profound way. And you have all been preparing yourselves for this moment for a long time. You have done your work. You have harnessed enough of the energies leading up to this month's energies to be able to handle this influx. Your bodies are ready and your minds are ready. Energetically, many of you have felt ready for quite some time. However, you needed more transforming on the physical and mental levels. And now you have it. And there you are. And now you can expect to receive so much more than just a chakra upgrade or just an activation of your gifts. You can expect to feel more at peace and one with all that is because that is what you have been building up to throughout this lifetime. And we are very eager to see what you do next when you completely acclimate to these energies. We are certain that you are all getting exactly what you need to evolve and to ascend. We and others like us just want to help. We just want you to have extra support in working with all the energies that you are constantly receiving. And we also know that you have your challenges with one another there on earth. And we want to help you resolve as much conflict as we can. We want to see all of you living harmoniously as you evolve and ascend. And we know that there are faster routes to getting there. You do not have to hit rock bottom in order to start a path of recovery. Even though many people do that, and that is okay. When it comes to all of you coming together and living harmoniously as a whole, you do not have to be on the verge of nuclear war in order to come together. You do not have to have catastrophes, cataclysms, natural disasters or bombs exploding to shake you all awake and help you realise that conflict resolution does not have to go to extremes before both sides, both groups or both parties come together because you realise at the end of the day that you are all human. You are all human, and you are sharing this beautiful planet of yours, which gives you everything that you need to thrive. Of course, people choose to incarnate in different places, to have different experiences, and not everyone is born into an area where there is plenty of food, plenty of drinking water, plenty of opportunities and so on. 
when you start to receive energies of oneness from groups, beings and collectives like ourselves, you cannot help but wonder how you can reach out from your place of having plenty, to help someone who chose to be born in a place where they have access to much less. The simple act of asking yourself, how can I help, elevates the consciousness of the entire collective. Now when you follow through with an action or an offering to help, you are taking it one step further. You are putting that sentiment into action, which gives it more energy and adds even more to the collective consciousness of humanity. Not everyone there is at the same level spiritually, so not everyone is receiving those energies of oneness that are upon you now. Those of you who do receive this particular energetic message will have the capacity to serve. You have the ability to extend from your place of knowing who you really are, and you will be able to help someone else. Even if you cannot help them out with food or money, water or a job opportunity, you help by extending the oneness vibration to them. You help just by setting the intention that everyone be heard, seen and treated fairly. You help by holding the desire that everyone gets what they need to live in a human body and you are sending out that signal to the universe as well as that you want to be a conduit through which more can flow so you can do more good in the world. We know that everyone can have enough there on earth just as we know that everyone is getting what they need energetically. We also know that not everyone receives at the same rate. Some of you are more accustomed to receiving than others. Those of you who have received more can also demonstrate to your fellow humans how to open up so that they too can receive. You can teach others how to meditate, how to connect with Mother Nature and Mother Earth, how to feel for the energies that are around them. You can upload your own YouTube video. You can make your own blog post. You can share with so much love in your heart all that you have been able to download and utilise for your own purposes of evolving and ascending. And that is why there are these different levels of consciousness and these different locations on earth. It is all to give everyone the opportunity to experience themselves as one who gives and one who receives, one who lacks and one who has abundance. And the coming together of the one who needs and the one who has to give is such a beautiful experience to witness. And we see more and more of that happening on planet Earth every single day. We know that it is possible for everyone there on Earth to get exactly what they want without exception. We know this to be true because it is true. You are coming to the point now where different realities are being allowed to coexist with one another. You are coming to the place where you are recognising that two people can look at the same thing and see two entirely different things. Two people can hear the same word and hear something that is very different. That must mean then that everyone gets to have their own personal experience of reality. And when you recognise that, then you must also realise that you do not have to agree on one reality. And if that is true, then there is not just one reality that you all must accept as the one true reality. And that means you can live and let live. You can let everyone else have their version of reality. And you do not have to convince any of them that your reality, the one you are experiencing, is the one true reality. That takes a great deal of responsibility off your shoulders. You can relax. You can allow because what you are allowing is an aspect of source. How big of you? To allow all aspects of source to be as they are is something that everyone must come to eventually. Acceptance is the key to moving beyond any aspect of source reality that you do not like or that you do not prefer. Resistance truly is futile. However, it does not mean that you are saying that you must experience that reality, that you were previously resisting. It just means that you cannot deny the existence of any reality. You cannot abolish anything. Everything must be allowed to be as it is, 
because it is all giving source and opportunity to know itself. And what better purpose could there be for something to exist than that? Accepting your fellow humans as they are is the first step to being able to love all of creation as well. Everyone that exists right now in your reality exists as a creation of source, and they are meant to be exactly as they are. You are meant to decide who you want to be in relationship to all of them. You can be the healer. You can be the one who forgives. You can be the one who offers compassion. You can be the one who is unconditional love. You do not have to change anything about the reality you are experiencing right now to be in a peace. That too should be a weight lifted off your shoulders, because changing the outside world is hard work. It is time consuming. In fact, it is impossible, because you will only go to a different reality than the one you were experiencing before you go about your reality changing actions. Therefore, you may as well accept everything and everyone as they are. Also, know this to be true. No matter what reality you are in, you do change the level of consciousness for the collective that is sharing that reality with you. You can add more light and more love to the overall equation, which helps everyone to elevate their consciousness so that they can go into realities that they want to experience, rather than the ones they have felt trapped in for so long. It is important for you to move forward with this knowledge, because it is important for you to be the creator beings that you really are. You cannot be the creator being that you truly are, if you think that someone or something outside of you must change. It is all source. It is all love. Be the one who realises that, and you will have benefited from everything just as it is right now. Continue to resist and shake your fist, and you will stay stuck in that reality that you feel is so unjust and should not exist. That is the way we all agreed to set this universe up, and we are just the messengers. However, you know that what we are saying is true, because you feel the truth within it, and it is true no matter what reality you are in. At present, we are attending to several matters that exist both on Earth and throughout the galaxy simultaneously. There are, of course, reflections to what is happening down there on Earth all throughout the galaxy. And we work to assist with not only the humans of Earth and what you are going through, but also with those you would consider to be ETs in other star systems, on other worlds and moons and in space stations. The biggest issue for this galaxy is its history, which is one of much violence, war and strife. And we are looking to spread compassion, to the point where enough people can feel it moving through their bodies, so that forgiveness is possible. Forgiveness is not only possible through a repayment of karma. Forgiveness is possible when it precedes the action or word spoken that needs forgiving. You are all able to do this. Transcending the karma of the person who you feel has wronged you, and when this occurs, the level of consciousness throughout the galaxy is raised to such an extent that all beings are affected in profound ways. You do not have to wait for someone to ask for your forgiveness in order to give it. You do not have to wait for someone to correct their evil ways to forgive them. And you certainly do not have to wait until the next lifetime where you are the one delivering the hurtful action or saying the hurtful words. You can have compassion for those individuals who you feel have hurt you right now. You can recognise that they would only hurt you from a place of hurt within themselves. You can give everyone the benefit of the doubt and realise that some people are not even intentionally being hurtful. They are just repeating something to you that they have heard many times themselves. And perhaps they did not feel hurt by those words because they are so cut off from their emotions. If you could see the lives that have been lived by all those people who you feel have hurt you, then you could recognise that they are doing the best they can under the circumstances of what they have lived. Again, 
Doing so helps every single being in this galaxy and beyond. There are many mirrors out there throughout the entire universe. And what you are experiencing there on Earth, and what we are all experiencing throughout this galaxy, is also mirrored in other parts of this beautiful universe of ours. It is one of the most powerful tools that you have at your disposal right now. It is more powerful to forgive than to have the power of telekinesis, teleportation, time travel, or any other fun, cool, interesting power that you can conjure up with your mind. It is true that sometimes people speak and act from a place where they are so out of alignment with who and what they really are that they do harm to you, to others, to themselves. However, holding a grudge and harbouring resentment only leads to something that continues the hurt. When you continue that trend of hurting, you only hurt yourself and eventually others. So please find it in your hearts to forgive so that you may make the huge impact on this galaxy of ours that you know you want to make. We are extending ourselves out to all of humanity, regardless of whether the individual believes that we exist or not. We do not care about your beliefs. We only care about bringing out more of the love, more of the flow of source energy from you. We tell you this now because we see how much you are splitting yourselves in two, based on your beliefs there on earth. We see this as something that disempowers you, even though most people feel that their beliefs make them smarter, stronger and more powerful, as though they are armed with a better perspective, with more knowledge. And to look down on someone else because they do not see something the same way that you do, not only creates a split between you and that person, but also creates a split within yourself. Every person that exists outside of you represents an aspect of you. It may be that the aspect is from a previous lifetime, but it is still part of you. Some people, because of their beliefs, would even like to eliminate others, wipe them off the face of the earth. However, they are just suppressing, diminishing and trying to snuff out an aspect of themselves. Obviously, this does not serve you. What someone believes it does not define them. Who they are underneath all their thoughts, beliefs and ideas is what defines them. And everyone is a source energy being when you go deep enough inside that person. Instead of trying to change someone's mind, look for opportunities to draw that which is source out of them. Instead of trying to prove to someone that you are right, show them who you really are as an aspect of source. As an aspect of source, you are able to forgive. You are able to see all perspectives as valid in some way. And you always look to help, you always look to heal, when you are being that ultimate version of you. Think about all the people whose beliefs you find deplorable. And now recognise how all that time you have spent in judgement of them has only hurt you. It has only split you and it has made the human collective less powerful, less capable, and further from becoming what you are destined to become. You are destined to become a harmonious human collective, so you may as well start now by letting go of that need to be right, that need to draw a line in the sand, that need to choose a side. Just accept right now, even with the world as it is, in this moment, that you are all one, You are all source, and you are all coming together as one, whether you like it or not. Acceptance is freedom. Freedom will allow you to expand and become more, and that is the definition of going with the flow. Te awa. As we have said before, it is what you are all going to do, so why not start right now? Te wana, tawa. Te Awa